heard about the divisibility rules but just haven't got a clue about what they are but need some easy ways of factorizing and simplifying fractions and making your maths easier this video is going to help you intro like and subscribe there's more every single week Hi everybody and welcome to Saltash Maths and English Studies and today we're going to be looking at the divisibility rules and those are for the numbers 2, 3, 5, 10, 6 and 9 and basically you will be able to look at a number and know exactly whether that number is divisible by the numbers I've mentioned without any rem remainders. Now why is that important? Well because there's lots of questions that you'll get in your maths exams about things like can you factorise a number? simplifying fractions, uh, just looking at a big number, can you make it smaller when you're doing something like factorization, uh, when you're doing algebra? There are lots and lots of times that divisibility rules are gonna come up and you're gonna find them very, very helpful. Anyway, let's dive into it. So as you can see on the screen here, we've got the look numbers. Those are two, five, and 10. You'll, be, you'll probably actually know these already, but I'm just gonna give you the, the background for them. And then you've got three, six, and nine, which I call the add numbers. Look, numbers on the top, add numbers on the bottom line. So let's start with the first number, which is two. The divisibility rule for two, two is that all even numbers are divisible by two. What does that mean? Well, it means that if it's an even number, it ends with two, four, six, eight, or zero. That's an even number as well. So examples would be 42, it ends in two, therefore it's even, therefore it's divisible by two. 2,346, and it ends in six, that means it's even, that means it's divisible by two. Same as 124, ends in four, so therefore it's divisible by two. And I'll put this in for a laugh, 3,456,670, well it ends in a zero, so therefore it's an even number, and therefore it's divisible by two. Now, all these other numbers, 13, 2,555, 133, 3, 3 million, 456, 333, they all end in threes and fives. That means they're all odd numbers, so they're not divisible by two. Okay, next number, five. Was any number that ends in a five or a zero? You probably know this already. So 45, 2,340, 125, and there's that three million number again. They all end in a zero or a five, and so therefore they're divisible by five. Whereas 13, 2,552, 133, and that big number there which ends in a seven, don't end in a zero and don't end in a five, so therefore they're not divisible by five. All the division rule for 10, really easy. Anything that ends in a zero, again, you probably know this already. So all the numbers on the left column all end in zero. They're all divisible by the number 10. All numbers on the right don't end in a zero. They're not divisible by 10. Okay, so now we get to the first of the add numbers. And I call it an add number in the divisibility rule for three because we're going to add digits up now. Quite often, so what's add, adding digits up mean? Well, here we go. Add all the digits and see if that number is divisible by three. So. If we look at the number 132, we think of it like this. It's one plus three plus two. There's your 132. If I add those up, I get the number six. Six is in the three times table. It's divisible by three. That means three goes exactly into 132. How about 108? Well, I think of it as one plus zero plus eight. That equals nine. Nine is in the three times table, so therefore it's divisible by three. 2,550, break it down, add those numbers up, I get 12. 12 is in the three times table, so therefore it's exactly divisible by three. 597, add the numbers up, comes to 21, exactly divisible by three. 21 is in the three times table. Now let's look at nine. Now I call this the add and add again rule uh, to see if you can divide by nine. So if we look at the number 198, we think of it like this, one plus nine plus eight. Now that equals 18. I take that number 
18, and I add that together, 1 plus 8, and it equals 9. That means that 198 is exactly divisible by 9. Okay, let's look at 45. 4 plus 5, 9. It's divisible by 9. 2,340. Add those numbers up. I get 9. This isn't a magic trick. This is just the way numbers work. 2 million. 456, 640. When well, I'm going to add all those numbers up and I get 27. When I add the 2 plus 7 from the 27, I get 9. That means it's exactly divisible by 9. That's the 9 rule. Add, and if needs be, add again. Now I'm going to come to the rule for 6, and 6 is really easy. I take the rule for 2, is it an even number? And I take the rule for 3, and if it's divisible by 3 and divisible by 2, then it is divisible by 6. It's as easy as that. There's nothing more to it. So there you go. We've gone through the divisibility rules for 2, 5, 10, 3, 6 and 9.